What going good, everybody? Ooh, first place. Give me my week seven. Week seven. Oh, the season is flying by. Week seven, the 2014 NFL season. All right. So last week, yours truly got 11 games right. Got 11 points. I guess you can take pick up. Only got uh, two, three games wrong. Uh, I got the Seahawks game wrong. Got the Falcons game wrong. And I got the Steelers game wrong. And originally, I picked the Bengals to beat the Panthers, but we all saw that tie. Ugh. But you know, always moving on. Uh, let's start off the Thursday night football game. Last week we had a good Thursday night football game. This week, uh, I'm skeptical about it. All right, so we got the New York Football Jets going to New England and the Foxborough to take on the Patriots. And uh, uh, to me, this is not where sexy Rexy, Rex Ryan wants to be in. I mean, you're starting off the season one of five. And granted, they did you know keep the Broncos in control for a while to the end. You know, pick six by Geno Smith for a surprise, but. I uh, go and we take on the Patriots and seem like the Patriots. I know the last two games he just seemed fierce. Like this is just a weird side of the Patriots. Like Tom Brady, I think is sick and tired of hearing, "Oh, you guys done? Should we move on to a new quarterback? What's going on?" I think Tom Brady and company they're sick and tired of hearing those questions, and now they're pissed. Uh, generally, the Patriots play well against the Jets at home in Foxborough. Usually, they play well in Foxborough in general, but especially the Jets at home. Uh, if it was in New York, I'd say, oh, maybe you could be upset. But uh, I'm going to go with the New York Patriots. going with the Patriots, excuse me. Patriots to win Thursday night football game. And then we move on, of course, to Sunday games. Got Matt Ryan, Atlanta Falcons, a 2 and 4. Ugh, Atlanta Falcons going to Baltimore. I think I'm the Ravens. Uh, I picked the Falcons last week because I thought, okay, Matt Ryan's good under the dome. But this, they sucked, even against the Bears from on the road. But um, I'm going to go with the home team here. I'm going to go with the Ravens. I uh, did the Ravens return. Two five and two, so go both for it. It's got the Minnesota Vikings going on the road to take on the Buffalo Bills in Buffalo. Uh, the legend Taylor Cow, you know, did okay against the Patriots last week, but it wasn't enough to beat the Patriots. Uh, Tim Bridgewater really struggled against main, mainly the Vikings themselves struggled against a very good, talented Detroit Lions defense. Uh, this time around, I think the Bills will sneak in a victory here, and uh, I think they will beat the Vikings. They should beat the Vikings at home, so I'm going Buffalo. He took the Miami Dolphins on the road, taking on the Bears. I put the Dolphins, they were like, what, three seconds away from upsetting the Green Bay Packers? Three seconds, but Aaron Rodgers, man, Stephen A. Smith, he's a bad man for a reason. Uh, going to Chicago, take on the Bears. This is an iffy game because, I mean, the Bears have already lost the Bills, out of all people, at home uh, already. So, uh, Chicago, even though I'm, I'm stre- I have a feeling I'm stretching it by going to Chicago, but I'm going to go with the Bears. Uh, next up, the Cincinnati Bengals going on the road to take on Raw 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 Andrew Luck and the Colts. Should be interesting because obviously you have the Colts who can put up points on the board without problem with Andrew Luck. He's out with T.Y. Hilton when he did on Thursday Night Football last week. Uh, and of course, you still got you know Reggie Wayne and some targets there. And you have the Bengals who, you know, you got a banged up, um, you got a banged up AJ Green. Uh, Jones is out for the season, I believe. So new has been really a nice surprise for them. Uh, and you know, of course, we all know that Bengals defense is pretty talented. They don't really show up against Cam Newton company, but um, you know, I think that's one of those games that Andrew Luck throws like two or three interceptions, but still somehow some way the Colts win. You know, we, we've seen that for it seems like the last few years where Andrew Luck throws for multi interceptions in a game and get his team to win. This is one of those games. So uh, I'm gonna go. With the you got the Cleveland Browns going to brew to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Brands. Wow, what a spank and they gave to Ben Roethlisberger and the Steelers. Should have picked that game, man. I said it. I said it here. Upset alert last week. Damn. Uh, going on the road to take on the Jaguars. Uh, this seems like one of those random games that maybe the Jaguars could win at, at home, but to me, Brian Hoyer is just playing too well. That running game is going pretty well with Ben Tate. You know, this sneaking some other people in their Cromwell and, and whatnot. So, I'm going to go with Cleveland here. So, I'm going to go with Browns. You got the New Orleans Saints on the road. They can be tw- lines, and we all know how much the Saints struggle on the road. Granted, they are coming off a bye week. So, you know, maybe they could regroup there. But uh, the Detroit Lions, I mean, they didn't look all that impressive against the Vikings. But, uh, you know, hopefully for them, uh, they can get Reggie Bush back maybe. They could get Calvin Johnson back too. Obviously, very big uh Assets for their offense for the Detroit Lions. So, going to Detroit, going to the Lions. The 
is the Carolina Panthers going to the Green Bay taking on the, Pan- the Packers in Lambeau. And this is what freaking Aaron Rodgers said when trying to tell us when his team is 1 and 2. R E L A X relax. One of the creepiest voices I've ever heard in my life. Anyways, um, I think the Panthers may struggle in Lambeau. Granted, it is in Lambeau. Obviously, not an easy place to play, so I'm going to the Packers. Tennessee Titans go on the road to take on the Redskins. And believe it or not, I want to pick the Titans in this game. Trust me, I do. I want to pick the Titans. However, there is a problem here. It's like, you know, they barely snuck out a win against Jacksonville. Kirk Cousins looked horrible in the fourth quarter against the Cardinals. I mean, that last interception is like, there wasn't a receiver. I saw that game live. There wasn't a receiver between 20 or 30 yards from where the guy picked it off. Like, what the hell are you doing? And he threw it right at him. He's like, Kirk Cousins, like, screw this. Like, I don't know what the hell he was thinking, but, uh, screw it. Go on the Redskins. Next. And they get the Seattle Seahawks, who are 3 and 2. Yes, the defending Super Bowl champions. I mean, a lot of people thought they'd already. As a total, would have only two losses in the season. Did they go 14 and 2? I kind of doubt that they're going to win 11 straight games. So, the whole 14 and 2. Shut up, dog. That they're going to win 11 straight games is out of the window. And of course, they're on the road taking on St. Louis, who, for some reason, the Rams always seem like every single year, at least once, usually once, they upset like a big, you know, good, talented team. You know, we saw the Saints, I believe, a couple years ago, the Jimmy Saints, they've done it to the Cowboys in the past. You know, they're going to teams that, you know, high market, that, you know, talent-wise are really good. So, eh, I wouldn't be surprised if the game is closer than what people would expect, but I think the Seahawks do rebound after the tough, tough loss against the Cowboys. So, I think the Seahawks will win. Yeah. They see the Kansas City Chiefs going to road, taking on the Chargers, and the Chargers, ooh. The Chargers are looking good. 5-1. and one. Chiefs, and eh, 2 and 3 so, and they're coming up with a bye week, I believe, Kansas City. So, will, will San Diego start 6-1? I don't know. I mean, uh, they barely stuck with the Raiders, but I'm going to go with them here. All right, Chargers, 5-1. Next, you have the New York Football Giants going on the road to take on the Cowboys. And this is the game I think the Cowboys slip up. This might be the game they slip up. And I might change my pick on pick them because I do pick skin pick them with a few guys in mind. This could be the game that the Cowboys slip up. And the reason why I mean by that, they're 5-1. and one. We all thought they'd be like 2-3 and three by now. You know, not a very good record. And now, of course, they have sole position of the NFC East. Eli and company usually do well in Dallas. Just saying, I know they looked horrible in Sunday Night Football. I know Victor Cruz is done for the season. Andre Williams wanted to go put a egg on there for fantasy owners. Rashad Jennings is still out. Now you have Odell Beckham Jr. on there. Now they're thinking of acquiring Mike Williams in the Bills. I mean, everything is just going crazy for the Giants. But this could be the game that the Giants go to four and three and the count. And you know, Monday on you know Monday on first take. Skip Bayless and Stephen E. Smith are talking about them going, what happened to the Cowboys? What happened to them? You know? And Stephen A. Smith are probably saying they're next and they're waiting to happen. So, I'm just saying, you know, uh, fuck, going to the Giants. I know people are going to be like, you go with the Cowboys. I'm just going with the Giants here. I picked a lot of home teams. Go with the Giants. Next, you got the Arizona Cardinals on the road to take on the Oakland Raiders. Um, the Raiders, I won five. They're horrible. <laughs> uh, the Cardinals, obviously, won one. Very impressive. Uh, but they, I believe they're leading the NFC West. And um, I think they'll continue their role. I mean, we finally saw Larry Fitzgerald for the first time all season. You know, Green and Carson Palmer finally came back. So, obviously, that was a big help for them. The, con- the defense is looking fine. That, that rookie kicker, man, he's like the next Blair Walsh. That guy's looking pretty good for himself. So, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. So we went to the Sunday Night Football game, the game where. Peyton Manning goes for the touchdown record. He goes for the record to beat Peyton. It's in the, and that's how pathetic it is. They're not even advertising the fact that the 49ers are in this game. They're advertising that Peyton Manning goes for the record. That's just sad. But anyways, Carmen Kaepernick and the Niners on a short week. They just played a Monday Night Football a couple nights ago. 
going on the road to Denver to the Mile High City, taking on the Denver Broncos. And uh, yeah, Denver. Okay, next. Move on to the Monday Night Football game, and oh, this game's gonna be ugly. Why do I have a game? This feeling this game's gonna be just butt ass ugly. Like, oh my god, it's gonna be like Iggy Azalea's face butt ass ugly. Cause that's just scary to me. You got the Houston Texans on the road against the Pittsburgh Steelers. One of these teams is going to be one game under 500, the other one be a game over 500. And I want to pick the Steelers. I want you so bad. And I'm sitting here going, okay, Ben Roethlisberger is still a good quarterback. Antonio Brown is still a good wide receiver. The defense is old as hell. But I got to go with the Texans. I don't know why. I know Ryan Fitzpatrick is an average quarterback. He's shown that for two straight weeks. But as long as Aaron Foster is still healthy, and as long as the defense is still somewhat showing up from week to week, I think this is where the Texans win. Texans win. And I think this is when they improve to point to it. Anyways, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoy the picks. Check it out. See how the season goes. Catch me tomorrow night. Be my Patriots. Beating the Jets on Thursday Night Football. Ah, gotcha. Anyways, catch y'all later. Peace.